Das Wochenende ist vorbei. Mini Dialog Trainer number one, focusing on the verb spielen. This video complements Das Wochenende kommt, Mini Dialog Trainer number one, spielen. In Das Wochenende kommt, the verb spielen, we are approaching a weekend and learning to talk about and ask about what people are playing over the weekend. So now when you come back to school, we're going to revisit that topic only in the past tense now and focus on the same questions, only instead of what are you going to play, what did you play? So go ahead and take these notes down as we go. Our first one is, was hast du am Freitag gespielt? And this question is asking us, what did you play on Friday? If you need more time to write this down, you can always pause the video. Now let's look at what's different between this week and last week. The last week we were saying, was spielst du am Freitag? What are you going to play on Friday? And this time it says, was hast du am Freitag gespielt? It's a very similar question. We can see where spielst used to be in the question is now replaced by the helping verb hast. And at the end of the sentence, now we have the verb, the past participle, I should say, gespielt. This is now asking in the past tense, what have you played? Only in German, they make us wait till the end of the question or the statement in order to hear the verb in the past participle form. Let's take a look at a sample answer. Ich habe am Freitag Musik gespielt. I played music on Friday. Let's move on to Saturday. Pause this slide if you need more time. Was hast du am Samstag gespielt? What did you play on Saturday? Notice our sample answer. Ich habe am Samstag Fußball gespielt. So before when we had our blank where we were adding what we played at the end of the sentence, now it's kind of the second from the end because our past participle in German has to remain at the end of our thought. Was hast du am Sonntag gespielt? What did you play on Sunday? Our sample answer is, ich habe am Sonntag Karten gespielt. Pause if you need more time. Also du bist daran. It's your turn now. So we want to practice this conversation with five other people. But before we do that, Let's take a little time to practice saying each one of these questions to make sure we feel confident about speaking the words out loud. I'll say the question first and I'd like you to repeat me afterwards. Here we go. Number one. Was hast du am Freitag gespielt? I want to point out again, like I did last week, that Freitag has a rolling R in it. Whenever there's an R consonant blend in the front of a German word, that means you're going to have to roll that R. Secondly, when an I and E are together in German, we have to remember the common rule of I and E go walking. The second one does the talking. That's why in Freitag, you hear the I sound. Notice our past participle, gespielt. Now we have the I followed by the E. That's why we hear the long E sound in this one, gespielt. Okay, these are important spelling tips to help you pronounce better in German. Let's try number two. Please repeat it after me. Was hast du am Samstag gespielt? And number three. Was hast du am Sonntag gespielt? So I'd like you to take a few minutes and go ahead and create your own answers to these questions. Make sure that all of your statements are ending with the word gespielt. Make sure that all of your sentences are started out with ich habe am Freitag, 
And then really the only part of information that you're putting in there is the activity itself. So last week you came up with some answers of things that you were going to do and going to play over the weekend. And perhaps this weekend and what you actually did are different. So if you need to get out your German dictionary, go ahead and look up the new vocabulary you need to talk about what you did. Go ahead and pause this video to give yourself some time to do that. Now that you have your sentences thought out about what you did over the weekend, what you played, I'd like you to meet with five other people. Start again as we always do with a nice positive greeting. Ask them what their name out of name is out of good practice and, and then proceed to have this conversation asking them in the past tense what things they played over the weekend. Do that till you've rotated through talking to five different people. By that time, you should have this mini dialogue pretty well memorized. Congratulations, you are starting to talk in the past tense in German. Great job and I'll see you again next video.